सो गुड इवनिंग ऑल ऑफ यू एम आई ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल एम आई ऑडिबल एंड विजिबल येस सो टूडे दिस इज अ शॉर्ट सेशन ऑफ फिफ्टीन मिनट ऑन अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक दैट इज एक्जीमा आई विल डिस्कस अ क्वेश्चन ऑन एक्जीमा विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल इज डर्मेटाइटिस नॉ बिफोर अदर्स ज्वाइन लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ आई एम डॉक्टर चेष्ट अग्रवाल नीट पी जी एजुकेटेड ऑन अन अकेडमी एंड आई टीच डर्मेटोलॉजी ऑन अन अकेडमी I have myself scored all in all India rank two sixty one in my NEET PG entrance exam, and I will give you all the tips and tricks related to the exam. Now, before we proceed ahead, just little bit about the UN Academy. Now, this is India's best online platform for the preparation of NEET PG. For subscription, we have two type. Here, the one is the plus subscription of UN Academy, where you can access UN Academy, the daily live classes, structured courses, live test, and unlimited access. For plus subscription, you can have option of one month, three month, six months, twelve month, and eighteen month. If you are planning to give your exam in NEET PG 2021, that is after one or two months, then please go ahead with one month or three month subscription of an academy. If you use my referral code Cheshta10, you will get additional ten percent discount on the subscription fee. We have one more type of subscription here, and that is called as iconic subscription. Now, what is iconic? With this, you can have access to both an academy as well as prep ladder. As I've already told you, an academy give you advantage of live classes, and prep ladder give you advantage of recorded video lectures, question bank, and rapid revision courses. So, with one subscription, you can access to the India's best two platforms. Here, with one year subscription, you can have access to both of them, and the cost is around four thousand one hundred twenty-five rupees per month. If you use my referral code, you will have additional discount on that. So, good evening, Avin, uh, Avinandan, Pooja, and Safdar. Now, I am conducting every day at 10 p.m. special classes or free classes on an academy. Now, these classes are specially designed for your last moment preparation or revision of dermatology with respect to NEET PG 2021. so i request everyone to please follow me on my an academy profile for all the updates of my live special classes you can follow me on an academy at an academy <clears throat> at the rate chess kmc 2633 this is my an academy profile link you can just go and follow me here now every day at 8 pm we give you 20 questions which can be from any subject any topic now this daily t20 series at 8 pm is conducted for neet pg 2021 and at 9 pm we conduct the 20 question series for next pattern exam 2022 so if you are planning to give these exams please follow this or please enroll this because these are absolutely free now while enrolling you can have an idea that how is your preparation going which subject is weaker which needs more time so this is a very good way to assess yourself okay now how to download an academy just go to the app store select an academy learning app download it after downloading it you have to choose your stream that is neet pg after choosing your stream you have to choose which type of subscription you want plus or iconic and then you have to select the duration for which you need the subscription In the end, please don't forget to use my referral code that is Cheshta10 for additional 10% discount. Okay, so we have many students live with me right now. So starting with the first question or the question of eczema. This is the question I want everyone to answer. This question: A three-year-old child has itchy eczematous dermatitis on the extensor surfaces. His mother has a history of bronchial asthma. Diagnosis should be. Option number one: contact dermatitis. Option number two: atopic dermatitis. Three is seborrheic dermatitis, and fourth is infantile eczematous dermatitis. So this is a question from eczemas. I want everyone to please answer this question. Safdar, Avinandan, Pooja, Anukul, and all the remaining students, please answer this question. Anyone? Very nice. so uh, devagudi have answered the question what about other students anybody else want to answer safdar pooja you want to try very nice anukul anybody else so we have many students i want everybody to participate okay so the correct answer of this question is option number 2 that is atopic dermatitis 
Now I will tell you what is atopic dermatitis and what are the clinical presentation. First of all, I will describe later that atopic dermatitis is a clinical diagnosis, which means that you don't have to do any investigation for making the diagnosis. Mere on the presence of clinical feature, you will make the diagnosis. Now for making the diagnosis of atopic dermatitis, you have a classification or a criteria which is called as Rajkas or Hanafin's criteria. Rajkas and Hanafin's criteria. Now this criteria includes major and well as well as minor criteria. You have four major and many minor criteria. And for labeling a patient to be a case of atopic dermatitis, you should have three major or three minor criteria as positive. Now, what are these criteria? I will tell you now. What is eczema? First of all, eczema means oozing out. So, eczema literally means to ooze out. And this term is used specially for acute lesions. Now, what do you mean by ooze out? The acute eczema present with these type of oozy lesions, which when you touch these lesions, they are wet. While subacute lesions and chronic lesions will have scaling, crusting or lichenification in them. I hope this is clear to all of you. So eczema means to ooze out and oozing why it is called as to ooze out because of presence of wet lesion of acute eczemas. But subacute eczema or chronic eczema will not present with oozing. They will present with scaling or lichenification or crusting. Okay. Now you have two types of eczemas, exogenous eczema and endogenous eczema. As the name suggests, exogenous means the factors or the causative agent present outside the body. While in endogenous eczema, the factors are present inside the bodies. The example of exogenous eczema is contact dermatitis. For example, cement contact dermatitis. So because of presence of an allergen outside the body, that is cement, these individual develops exogenous eczema. Similar to this, you have phytophotodermatitis, where you have plant source, and photodermatitis, where you have sun as a causative agent for development of eczema. So the left hand side is an example of exogenous eczemas, while right hand side is an example of endogenous eczema. It means that factors are present inside the body and the example is seboric dermatitis, pityriasis alba or asteatotic dermatitis. Now please remember atopic dermatitis is an example of both exogenous and endogenous eczema. So you have factors both endogenous and ectogenous which are present in atopic dermatitis. So what is atopic dermatitis? You have two theories which are present. One is called as outside in theory. And another is called as inside out theory. Now outside in theory is the exogenous component and inside out theory is the endogenous component which we were talking about. So you have both the involvement, the endogenous factors as well as exogenous factors. Please give me a thumbs up if you understood till here. Now what does outside in theory says that because of defective barrier function, can you see there is defective barrier function, there is increased entry of virus allergen inside the skin causing more and more immune activation. This is outside in theory. What is inside out theory? There is abnormal immune response leading to development of the symptom. So both of them come together that is abnormal barrier function as well as abnormal immune system leading to the manifestations of atopic dermatitis. Now atopic dermatitis clinical manifestation is divided into three phases infantile, childhood and adult phase. Infantile phase goes from two months to two years. Childhood phase goes from two years to puberty. And adult phases from puberty onwards. Now what is the classical presentation of infantile phase? You will have features mainly of facial involvement. And along with phase there is classical sparing of the perioral and periocular area. So please remember there is sparing of perioral as well as periocular areas. And if the lesions extend up to the body, it will involve only the extensor surface. So these are very important points that in infantile phase you have facial involvement and in the body you have mainly the extensors which is involved. 
in childhood phase you have mainly the flexures which are involved and what are these flexures these are cubital fossa popliteal fossa while in adult phase also you have flexural involvement i hope this is clear to all of you what are the classical symptoms of atopic dermatitis now what is the diagnostic criteria i have told you the criteria is called as rajkas and hennefin's criteria now what is the major criteria first there should be presence of itching and this is considered to be an hallmark symptom if there is absence of itching you cannot tell that a patient is a case of atopic dermatitis so itching itching should be present second is there is typical morphology and distribution and i have told you the morphology is of three type infantile phase childhood phase and adult phase there should be chronicity it means disease should be present for a longer time and there should be a positive family history of either asthma or allergic rhinitis or atopic dermatitis is that clear to all of you now we have few minor criteria and these are presence of dry skin can you see this ichthyotic dry skin yes you have denny morgan fold that is the extra fold which is present below the lower eyelid the third minor criteria is headlight sign you can see these hypopigmented areas which are present over the forehead around the eyes this is called as headlight sign which is very characteristic next is palmar hyperlinearity there is increase skin linings of the palmar surface of the skin you have ocular features that is anterior subscapular cataract keratoconus that is increased curvature other minor criteria includes pityriasis alba or bital darkening you can see there is periocular darkening and pityriasis alba you can see there is ill defined hypopigmented patches over the face hypopigmented patches over the face seen in association with atopic dermatitis other features is there is the recurrent skin infection increased ige response you have white dermographism can you see this i hope this is visible white dermographism and the last two features are hertogi sign and antenna sign so for making the diagnosis according to rajkas and hennefin's criteria you should have three major or three minor criteria now if you look at the question again what does the question says question says that a 3 year old one second question says that a 3 year old itchy lesions so a patient has itchy lesions and having extensor dermatitis mother is also having a positive family history so here we are fulfilling three major criteria if you all remember itching classical morphology history of atopy and chronicity all of them were the four criterias so here we are fulfilling three criterias of rajkas and hennefin's so that is why this becomes a case of atopic dermatitis please give me a thumbs up all of you if you understood why it is a case of atopic dermatitis and why this is not a case of contact dermatitis because they are fulfilling the major criterias which are mentioned here the major criteria includes the itching typical morphology chronic condition and positive family history okay so this is a very important feature and the diagnosis is only clinical itching should be must now how to treat this patient can anybody tell me what should be the treatment given what should be the treatment given in this patient for treating a patient of atopic dermatitis you should start the patient on steroids it should be topical steroid you should give lot and lot of emollient or moisturizers and for maintenance you can give topical tacrolimus so these are the treatment modalities which should be given in a patient of atopic dermatitis the very important feature is you have to avoid precipitating factors avoid precipitating factors 
For example, avoid using soap. Avoid keeping skin dry. Skin dryness should be avoided. The patient should not wear woolen clothes directly. And changing environment should be risky. Changing environment should be Patients should take extra care during the changing environment. So I hope everybody understood the treatment. The mainstay of treatment is you have to give lot and lot of moisturizer in these patients. Lot and lot of moisturizer. For acute or for active state, you have to give steroids. And very nicely said by Divya, you can give hydrocortisone, you can give uh, betamethasone, you can give mometasone. Depending upon the area of involvement, if the thicker areas, you have to give more potent steroid. If facial skin or in young individual, you have to give milder steroid. For maintaining it, you need to give topical calciurin inhibitor, that is to topical tacrolimus, because long use of steroid can lead to steroidal side effects. So I hope this is clear to all of you. So we are done with the discussion of a question of eczema or atopic dermatitis. Now this is just a brief about atopic dermatitis. If you want to learn more about atopic dermatitis, I request everyone to please follow me on my Unacademy profile. My Unacademy profile link is www.unacademy at the rate chess KMC. 2633. So please follow me on this profile link, Chess KMC 2633 on Unacademy Learning App. So I hope you have enjoyed this class. We'll meet again with another session soon.